Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Well, there it is. There's the confirmation. These Trump trials, these Trump indictments were so not political, man. Nope, nothing to see here. Just the impartial justice system doing its job without prejudice. Well, I guess that statement didn't age very well, now did it? Today, we got confirmation, confirmation of one thing, that this Manhattan hush money trial, this indictment, was one big political sham after all. I guess politics was involved at the end, as the Democrats and the Biden campaign show up in New York City outside the trial to make a big old skeptical political kabuki theater. What an absolute farce. They've proven today that this whole thing has been political since the start. It's a political hit job, political interference, more specifically election interference. We gotta talk about the cringy crap that just happened outside the New York City courtroom. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. We don't live in a serious world. What kind of clown show is this? As the hush money trial is in session, the Biden campaign shows up outside the trial with unhinged lunatic leftist Hollywood actor Robert De Niro. But I guess that's the Democrat strategy these days. Just put a dysfunctional old man in front of a microphone in front of the camera and hope for the best. It's not Biden, it's this guy. But this city is pretty accommodating. We make room for clowns. We have them all over the city. People who do crazy things in the street, we tolerate it. It's part of the city, it's part of the culture but not a person like Trump who will eventually run the country. That does not work, and we all know that. Anyway, we make room for clowns to each his own. Under Trump, this kind of government will perish from the earth. I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait, maybe I do mean to scare you. If Trump returns to the White House, you can kiss these freedoms Goodbye. He wants to sow total chaos, which he's succeeding in some areas and places to do. And elections, forget about it. That's over. That's done. If he gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. He will never leave. You know that. He will never leave. What does that mean? Is that the country we want to live in? Do we want him running this country and saying, I'm not leaving, I'm dictator for life? I hope this new ad campaign, campaign reaches outside the bubble to remind supporters of what a danger he is to our lives. This is not a threat. This is a reality. It's no surprise that the murder rate and other violent crimes peaked under Trump and are falling under Biden. And now he's promising to use our own military to attack U.S. citizens. That's the tyrant. Trump bought their votes with outrageous lies and empty promises. He got the most religious evangelicals to applaud a sinner assault. Somehow he even got self-styled patriots to support a man who called for terminating the Constitution and on January 6th rallied an angry mob to threaten democracy, leaving death and destruction in its wake. That's why I needed to be involved and wanted to be involved in the new Biden-Harris ad, because it shows the violence of Trump and reminds us that he'll use violence against anyone who stands in the way of his megalomania and greed. I mean, what is this guy, a crisis actor? Where did this guy come from and who thought that this was a good idea? Everybody's talking about gas prices, the economy, you know, avoiding World War III, but this lunatic, I mean, he really wants to get you on the right page. You're not seeing the bigger picture. Donald Trump's gonna kick you in the balls and steal your wallet. What's he even talking about? I mean, this is the argument. They have nothing left. They're just doing the same thing, the same thing from 2018 and onward. Russia, 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 Donald Trump, bad threat to our democracy. It's old, it's outdated, it doesn't work. Robert 
De Niro is literally an actor, so I think everyone's perceiving this as some sort of play. Where I'm at is, you know, this stuff's just pathetic at this point. It's not a serious conversation. But let's just say, you know, for conversation's sake, that we engage here, you know? Let's stoop down to the level. Let's go to the core basis of all of this. Robert De Niro is here to argue that Donald Trump should be put in prison because he's a criminal, which implies that he's done something guilty and... His court case is legitimate. Well, of course, that's where it breaks down now, doesn't it? And actually, one person who was present during that event in the public mentioned one thing, and then, of course, the whole thing falls apart. For these low lives, for Trump. They lied under oath. They lied under oath. Who lied under oath? What are you, what are you telling me? Those two traitors behind Excuse me? Those two traitors behind you. They lied under oath? What are you saying? They're, tra they're traitors. You gotta, I don't know, I don't even know how to deal with you, my friend. I don't even know how to deal with you. They stood there, they didn't have to. He lied under oath, BTFO'd, game over. Robert De Niro turns into a stuttering mess. I guess that wraps it up now, doesn't it? How is it possible to trust Michael Cohen's testimony and Stormy Daniels' testimony when both of them lied in their testimony? I guess it doesn't matter. No, of course it doesn't matter. That's the whole purpose here. These Democrat crisis actors aren't here to make the argument that Donald Trump is guilty, therefore he should be put in prison, and so we're going to throw a tantrum outside the courthouse. No, that's not the argument at all. The argument is Donald Trump is really scary. I mean, he's Darth Vader, so we need to collectively come together as a society and agree that he should be imprisoned just because, despite the facts of the actual court case itself. What an absolute farce. And if that wasn't cringe enough, they brought out another Democrat actor, this guy, Capitol Police Officer Michael Fanone, you know, I don't know, insurrection or something. As thousands of Trump supporters rushed in and brutally assaulted members of law enforcement, that day, I, like many other, hundreds of other D.C. police officers put on a uniform and responded to the Capitol to assist our brothers and sisters in law enforcement, defending the Capitol from a violent, armed mob of Trump's supporters. Ah, yes. Put Donald Trump in prison in this hush money trial that presented no credible evidence with two dishonest witnesses with holes in this story alleging a crime that doesn't exist, that the FEC ignored, and that the statute of limitations has run out. Convict him on that because my insurrection. Okay, I'm losing my mind at this point. Either I'm crazy or this is crazy. Ding, ding, ding. There's the answer. Welcome to freaking clown world where everything's crazy and it's just the new left-wing status quo. I think the event speaks for itself. What an absolute clown show. Obviously, it's all one big political stunt, a political witch hunt. And after today's event, after this Biden campaign showing, the argument on that issue is done. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.